It was Halloween night in 1563. I was on watch, making sure all of our loot and crew were safe from harm. It was late at night when I heard a sound that wasn't normal on a ship. A wailing coming from the stern on the other side of the ship. I wanted to walk over to get investigate, but I knew that trouble could arise quickly if I left my post, so I stayed. The wailing continued. I walked down to the cabin door before opening the door and walking over to first mate. Anne jolted awake and glared at me. What do you want? She whispered, take my watch for a quick second. I need to go get something. Okay, but no, we will not be friends tomorrow. She got up and trudged out the door. I walked over to my hammock and grabbed the lantern. I then walked out to investigate. When I stepped outside, the wind picked up and made the ship rock ever so slightly. I walked over to where the wailing came from. The unbearable sound got louder and louder the more I walked towards it. I stuck my lantern out in front of me. The shadow of a person danced across the wall. I turned the corner. No one was there. The wind got louder and heavier. My lantern went out. Darkness ensued around me. I could still hear the hear and feel the ship around me and the wailing, obviously. I put my hand out against the wall and the cold wooden, wooden boards felt unfamiliar. I was on the back side of the ship, so that was expected. I kept walking. Then I felt something and I saw Anne on watch. I knew I was safe enough to investigate that something. I looked down and saw a feather, the gray and white feather of a seagull. This was bad, very bad. According to the legend of the Gulliver, if you see a seagull feather and you hear wailing on Halloween night, the first mate will put someone in peril. Anne was the first mate. mate. I needed to find her before something bad happened. I ran over to where Anne was. What's wrong? She asked. I found a seagull feather and the wailing, and you know about the legend of Gulliver, and you're the first mate, and something bad's gonna happen. I explained. Oh, nice. Come closer. She said. I took a step, step, step forward. Closer. Another step. Closer. Another step. I could almost feel her breath. I heard the clink of a knife being unsheathed. I leaned back and grabbed my sword and giggled. You know what they say, a captain never stays long. She thrust her knife. I jumped back. I lunged forward and nicked her arm. Seriously, you can do better, I exclaimed. Yes, I can, but I can do. I walked towards the edge of the ship and Anne followed. You're basically giving yourself up, she said joyfully. I am, but so are you. I jumped forward, stabbing her right in the heart. She kneeled down, clutching her chest. You put yourself here now, deal with the consequences. She fell back. I dragged her body off the ship into the sea. I grabbed the lantern and continued watch. No one would know.